Shabbat Shalom, Zion. So first of all, I want to give all praises to the great I am. So Zion, we got a hot topic tonight. And I'm telling you, the comic boards are going to be slamming because I'm going to give you my take on the New Jersey shootings and Trump's declaration. And this is a super hot topic. It's huge. And we got a lot to discuss because Zion, we are truly living in the last days and we're seeing prophecy filled right before our very eyes. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. And just to let you know, this is not a lesson, but this is going to be a hardcore discussion. And I want all of you all to get involved, especially if you got links, whatever, got something to share, put them in the comment section. Now, I've gathered a few articles, probably about seven or more. I wrote down some mental notes that I observed. And I'm going to tell you something, Saints. Something don't add up. This whole story is fishy as all get out. Even when I first heard the story, the moment that they said this, the people who did this shooting were a one-time follower of the black Hebrew Israelites, a red flag went off big time. I said, I said hmm, let me investigate this more and see what's really going on. Because for one, they didn't name the group. If you notice now, they didn't name what group they were a part of. They just said they were a one-time follower of the black Hebrew Israelites. And these were just about all the articles I read. All right. I'm just giving, giving, giving you the notes that I've gathered up and everything. So they said that they were part of a black Hebrew Israelite one-time follower, but they did not name the group. Now y'all remember when, um, when they discovered that Joy Morgan died, the one that was part of IUIC, well, that was all over the news. Everybody was talking about that. So they named that. But with this particular one, they said that they were associated with a black Hebrew Israelite, but failed to name the group. This is how I know that that part, that part is seriously fabricated, Zion. And if you believe that you want to, you would, you would have to be blind to really believe that. I'm telling you, this whole thing is a publicity stunt. And when I tell you why, you're going to understand why they're doing this. And you know what's so funny about this? Now, the term black Hebrew Israelite, we don't even call ourselves that. We call ourselves Israelites, the true Israelites. Black Hebrew Israelite is a term that the heathens came up with. But I'm telling you, Zion, this, this thing is, 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 is funny. When you really when you really see it because you see what they're doing you i see right between the lines and these these heathens they're they're not smart at all they are not smart but they're trying and they're getting ready to piss the most high off to a level we've never seen before zion so y'all better get ready y'all better buck up, buckle up your seat belts because this is getting ready to get hot now let me tell you what else i observed through some mental notes i wrote down now um i think like three of the articles i read it stated that God told them to do it, all right? And also in the article, they were saying that these suspects were black, or a black man and a black woman around maybe near 50 or, or, or older, something like that. So I'm gonna show you some pictures because I looked at the footage, I looked and looked at the footage. Now there, the media is saying that these suspects were black, all right? Because I'm starting to even question that now. Because one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed the articles did not say, Zion, where there were there were any, you know, that there were any witnesses that came forward and admitted that the suspect that went in there and shot up this kosher market were actually black. I have not seen one witness, and I've been looking and looking and looking and nothing. So that's you know, something's fishy about this whole thing. Now, Zion, if you found some links or anything like that. You know, sharing with everybody so we can all collaborate and we can look at these things because we're going to have to investigate this stuff because these folks are lying through their teeth. They are lying. They are wicked as hell. I'm telling you, Zion, these people know what they're doing. And so I observed all that stuff and nothing's adding up. Nothing is adding up. So I believe this whole thing was fabricated. Now, I'm not denying that two people went in there whether it was one person or two people and shot up this so-called Jewish meat market, this kosher market. I'm not denying that. But what I am denying is the fact 
of what they said, making it up, saying that they were a one-time follower of a black Hebrew Israelite and possibly that they were black. I don't know. Now, I'm going to show you some footage that I, that I looked at and I reviewed, played it back and forth, slow motion. I'm going to be honest with you, Zion. I could not tell if they were black. I couldn't tell what color they were. Now, maybe they got technology that can see through the through the um, contrast and everything. I don't know. But from what I've seen, I couldn't tell they were black. Now, they said one of the suspects was a woman, was a black woman. But how do we know that, though? How do we truly know if it was a woman? How do we know if it was two people and not just one? Now, here are the pictures that they put up of these supposedly suspect named David, David Anderson and Francine Graham. I mean, these are the two that they're claiming that went into this kosher market and shot up those people. All right. Like I said, I'm not denying that nobody went in there or somebody went in there and shot up the place. I'm not denying that. And I'm not really denying that if it was a black person or not. But what I'm telling you is that I have not seen any evidence from what I've seen that points to any black person. Uh, a, a black brother or a black sister going up in there and shooting up the place. First of all, we don't do stuff like that, Zion. That's not our thing. We don't just go up into a random market and shoot up stuff, especially a 50 year old black woman. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying this, this whole thing stinks to high hell. And you know, they, they, they fabricated this whole thing. And when I tell you, I'm gonna tell you something now. We know that Trump made a dec declaration on the wake of this happening. It was the same day, Zion. So let's start putting our heads together here. All of a sudden, Trump makes a declaration to declare Judaism as a nationality. But I want you to hold your thought there because we're gonna come back to that because I wanna talk more about this whole shooting thing and what's going on and what's getting ready to take place. Now, I'm going to challenge you, Zion, to do some investigating because here's another reason why I know for sure that this whole story is fabricated. Because when you look at the history of shootings of these um, of these Khazarian churches, these so-called Jewish churches, you look at the history, go all the way back as far as you can. Not one black person ever recorded in history has ever gone up into a Jewish church and shot up the place. It was heathens that did that. So all of a sudden you're telling me, the media is telling us that a black man and a black woman in their 50s went up into a kosher market and shot up some Khazars. That's what the media is saying. And the media is saying that they were a one-time follower. Now, what does that mean, a one-time follower? Were they with the group for like a year, a couple of months? I mean, what? There's no detail on that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. They don't. They don't even have no detail on this group they were a part of. They just said they were a one-time follower of the Black Hebrew Israelite, a term that these heathens made up. And so, what they're trying to do, Zion, they're trying to divide and conquer because they know we're waking up. They know we are waking up with full force. Because see, this awakening just ain't no fly by night movement Zion this is an awakening and it's going to get stronger as it goes along and we already know the, the awakening of Zion already knows Deuteronomy 7 6 by heart and the Most High has chosen us above all nations and as I'm looking at my notes to make sure I cover everything I'm telling you they are trying to divide and conquer and what they're trying to do is instill fear they're trying to make these Khazars look like the poor victims. Oh, look at these these so-called black Hebrew Israelites. They came in and, and, and they're just causing trouble. They're so bad. But look at the Khazars. They're so good and innocent. You know. Oh, okay. By the way, have Trump pass a declaration acknowledging Judaism as a nationality. And we're going to get to that in a minute because it's going to blow your mind what I'm going to share with you. But I just find it very funny that all of this comes at the wake of this whole shooting. It happened on the same day or around the same day or close to it. But this is no coincidence, Zion. This was done purposely. So you got to ask yourself the question. 
these do these people think that we're that dumb to actually believe this story? It's all in the plan. I'm, I'm telling you, Zai, these people are panicking. They know their time is short, and they about to have hell to pay. And they're doing all they can to hang on to every last string, but they just pissed the most high off because we're about to see a level of anger like we've never seen before. And I'm sorry, y'all, but most high is getting ready to kick some ass. And it ain't gonna be nothing nice either. All right, so let's get back to this shooting. So I wanna show you a picture that I froze and screen captured and try to blow it up a little bit of the suspect they claim that was supposedly black. Now, if you look closely at this, and I was looking, like I said, I bagged this thing up, fast forwarded, slowed it down for every frame. Now, me personally, I could not tell if these suspects were black or white because when you look closely, it looks like he has maybe some gloves on or something. He has a hoodie, maybe a hood, or maybe a cap over the uh, under the hoodie. I don't know, but this is all it shows. Now, if you got some clips, Zion, if you got guys got some clips of some surveillance that's more clearer, then put them in the comment section for everybody can see and go look at that. This is why this is this is where I want everybody just to get involved and interact because I'm telling you, they're lying about this whole thing. And right now, I'm I'm even in question. Even if it was black suspect, like they say, they can choose any kind of pictures. Those pictures that they probably picked were probably people that are already dead already. Who knows? Who knows? I, I don't trust these heathens as far as I can throw them. I'm just I'm just letting you know, Zion. You know, you remember um, Nero? Was it Nero who uh, burned his own city down and blamed it on some outsiders and and, and uh, burnt the city down and everything and made up some kind of lie about it? They've been doing this for years. They do this stuff. They're really good at it. So let me show you another uh, another angle. Now I want you to look at this next one I froze. Cause this is a close-up shot of him actually coming into the place so when you look at that I, you still can't tell i mean i can't see looks like he has a maybe he has a mask on or something you know under the under his hoodie and um i can't really see his hand because he's kind of running in so it's just it's, it's weird zion i mean this is this it's just not adding up it's just not adding up that's what they're saying but um just looking at this and everything but I just want to show you this from the angle and I want to show you I'm going to show you the woman next that they claim that was a black woman oh before I show you the woman let me show you another one now this is this is old dude running out the store and that's kind of what I caught so it looks again you know you can't really tell you know with whether the person was black or white or what race he was can't tell so you know how do we know that this is not fabricated I'm, I'm telling you, Zion, this, this thing is planned. Now, this is supposedly um, the woman that they're claiming that, that came in. Again, by looking at this, you can't see anything. You can't see the face. You can't see the hands. Again, this person who they're claiming is the woman looks like they have gloves on. Um, looks like a, maybe a weapon in their hand. You know, I, I can't really tell. So, you know, you, you be the... You be the subject expert matter at this Zion, because right now I'm not even convinced that it was a black man and a black woman that did this. I'm just, I'm just not. Um, am I denying completely it was a, possibly a black man and a black woman? Mm, kind of spiffy, but right now I just, I, I can't bring myself to believe it was what they say it was. You know, supposedly black woman and black mail now the question that some of you may be asking is how will this affect us as far as them the media labeling this supposedly black suspects as a black hebrew israelite hate group how will this affect us well it will it's going to affect us twofold zion it's going to affect us in a very good way and also in a bad way so but let me let me explain what I mean by that so for the fact that they labeled us or label this group or this these two suspects as a black Hebrew Israelite follower that's gonna put the attention on us in reality that's a good thing because and you may be like well wait a minute no that's not good because we shouldn't be associated with that we had nothing to do with that 
with Zion. I'm telling you, this whole thing was fabricated. That that's a made up BS story. You know, they had to add that in because they know we're waking up. They know that this that this awakening is so powerful that there's nothing they can do to stop it. And this is what they want us to do. They want us to start fighting amongst these others. They want us to turn, divide and conquer like they've always been doing, but it's not going to work. It is not going to work because the strong brothers and sisters are going to hold fast to this faith. Now, these new Christian Hebrews, they're going to be the first to go because they're like they're like seeds planted on stony grounds. Little little gust of wind is going to come along and just blow them out the way, you know. And you, saw, and, you, and you see, the Most High has a way of cleaning house too, Zion. And this may be one way to get rid of these fakes, these fake Israelites, these so-called awakened Israelites who claim to be Israelites, but they're not. They're not practicing the laws. They hate the laws. They're every, they're every bit of Christianity, but only claiming the name Hebrew. Those are going to be the first to go. And maybe this is happening because of that. And the Most High is going to weed these people out. They're going to go. They're going to out of here. Because this is where the rubber is going to meet the road. Our test, our faith is going to be tested. All right. We know we don't have nothing to do with what's going on in this media. We, we know that Zion, but that's, that's not the way the media is going to see it. They're going to look at us. They're going to come after us. And yes, there's going to be some persecution that's going to come our way. And this is the time to know your scripture because we're going to have to give an answer to the hope that's within us. Like it says in Peter, we're going to have to give an answer to the hope that's within us. So the good news is, is that as long as we stay strong and steadfast, the Most High got our backs. And the Bible says in 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter um, 3, verse 12, it says, Yea, and all that will live in the fear of Yahuwah and Yahusha, Hamashiach, shall suffer persecution. Now, what form that's going to come in, Zion? It's going to come in many, many forms. Right now, it's, it's, it's in the form of ridicule. You know, they're looking at us, they're classifying us as a hate group. And I don't care who you're associated with, what camp you're associated with, what group you're associated with, you're gonna be classified as a hate group, all right? So get ready for it. Now, we're gonna see more and more fabricated stories like this in order to uh, stop the awakening, but I already said Zion, it's not going to happen. The Most High has declared that. That is not going to happen. It's going to get stronger and stronger, and then you're going to see them. They're going to make even more effort to try to fabricate stuff to make us really look like um, a hate group. All right? So, it is what it is. And so, I see the writing on the wall. I mean, it's happening right before our very eyes, and I'm not going to lie, Zion. I'm, I'm excited because I'm just I'm seeing this happen and it's like, wow, okay, they're playing right into the hands of the Most High. They are. Now, let's talk about this declaration that Trump is doing and what he's calling anti-Semitism. Now, for those of you who don't not familiar with the term anti-Semitism, it's anything that people say against these Khazars that are claiming to be Jews living in Jerusalem. You know, they call it anti-Semitism. Just like the thing that happened with this New Jersey uh, shooting, they're calling it anti-semitism so that's why they had to label uh they had to label this label these suspect as a follower of a black hebrew israelite group all right that's why they did that now i said earlier all this came in the wake of trump declaring judaism as a nationality now i'm going to speak on judaism now we know judaism is a made-up word okay we, we we got that i'm not I'm just I'm just quoting what the article says and with the notes that I have. But when Trump means Judaism, he's referring to the Khazars. So basically what he's what Trump is trying to do. And by the way, he works for those Khazars and that's who put him in office. Now, we know the most high sets up kings and takes down kings. But, you know, the most high allows this stuff to happen. He allows man to do their thing, because remember, the Bible says in Job 9:24 that the world is given into the hands of the wicked. So you, you got to realize that. So the wickedness of man is, is at its height right now. So Trump declaring uh, Judaism as a nationality, he was referring to giving, taking it a step further. Now, this is the huge part, Zion, because see now 
you're giving, you're making something a nationality that don't belong to them. Now, let me look at my notes right quick because I wrote something down. Now, uh, the, the Khazars were upset with Trump when he did this because they said that this would cause more harm than good. Now, how would, how would Trump declaring Judaism a nationality do more harm to those Khazars? Well, let me tell you why. Because y'all know that the Palestinians that are over there right now, right? And you know that um, Iran, matter of fact, Iran know that those people are not Israelites. They know that. They know that not the bloodline. Matter of fact, a lot of them acknowledge that we are. They know that. Uh, the Palestinian, the Palestinians uh, don't acknowledge them as the real Israelites. All right. So when it when it says when they said that it would cause more harm, they're right because now you're going to see more bombings. You're going to see these other uh, countries around Jerusalem. They're going to they're going to go hard, even harder against these Khazar. You're going to see more bombing. Um, I mean, you, you're going to see greater acts of violence against these Khazars. So they're setting themselves up for failure, Zion. So I'm glad Trump did that because now we're going to, the, the truth is going to be revealed. And you may say, well, how, how is that a good thing for us? How would that expose us as a people? Because if he's declaring Judaism as a nationality, and he's only referring to the Khazars, then how is that going to help us as a people? We're here all over the world. We're scattered to the four corners. We're struggling. How's that going to be a benefit to us? Well, let me tell you how that's going to be a benefit to us. You see, there's going to be more and more pressure on these Khazars. And right now, they're like a balloon that's getting ready to pop. The pressure is so great, Zion, that at any moment, any moment, it's going to all pop. And when it pops, they're going to be out the way. And the world is not going to have no other choice but to be like, wait a minute, you mean these niggas really are Israelites? No way. And that's, I'm telling you, Zion, that's when you're really going to see persecution kick in. Because see, they know, they know, a lot of these elites know who the true children of Israel are. Why do you think they mock us in their Hollywood movies? They mock us constantly because we don't get it. But they know it. And so... You know, and I'm not predicting how many years it's going to be before this all takes place, but it's going to be grad. It's going to be gradual, Zion. It's going to just happen, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So all I'm saying is, is get ready, get ready, because we're going to see more stuff like this. Now, here's the next question I want to address. And looking at my notes again, I want to make sure I cover every single note I jotted down. All right. So now, how is this? New Jersey shooting and uh, Trump declaring Judaism as a nationality. How are those two connected? All right. So let me let me explain this to you. And I want you to pay close attention. Now, we talked about earlier how when they made up the story about these suspects, they said for, they said for one, these were these were uh, these two suspects were black. All right. That's what the media is saying. And then they said that these two suspects were a one-time follower, whatever that means, a one-time follower of the Hebrew Israelite, of the black Hebrew Israelites, all right? A term that the heathens call us. And then thirdly, they said in the, in the articles that they had a message that God told them to do it. And there's something else I want to address too that I didn't address in the beginning. Now, they said that these two suspects had a criminal record. Now there's some more evidence coming out that that was fabricated. That was also fabricated. So, you know, this whole thing is busting through the floor, Zion. It, it's falling apart. And they would have been better. They would have been better just saying that a heathen went in there and shot up the place. They would have had a better chance at it. So now let's talk about the connection between them calling this these suspects a black Hebrew Israelites and the signing of this declaration acknowledging Judaism as a nationality. Now, the two are connected because think about it. They would have to put a title on us. I say us because they're claiming that the suspect, suspects were black. Call them a black Hebrew Israelite to make us look like, you know, fools, like dummies. So you can make these Khazars look like the ultimate victims. That's how they're connected. It was tied. It's a plan. So you get the world to 
sympathize by doing something like this. Now they're going to sympathize with these Khazars. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You, you got these black ignorant folks coming in there and they, they're, they're, they're trying to steal their identity. These poor Jewish people over there and Jerusalem, they're trying to steal their identity. Yeah. Let's, let's support them. And so what they're trying to do is they, they made this whole thing a publicity stunt. They made it a publicity stunt. This whole thing with the shooting is a publicity stunt that led up to the signing of this declaration. That's how they're connected, Zion. Use your head. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this stuff out. And, and I see it clearly. And they know exactly what they are doing. And a lot of times throughout scriptures, the beast would always make war with the saints. Now, the beast has seldom been referred to as the heathens, the beast. And this is what this is. It's a war between the heathens and the Most High because against our people. Because the Most High is getting ready to stomp a hole in these heathens. He's getting ready to stomp a hole so deep. And Zion, this thing goes deep. They've been trying to kill us for the longest. I mean, think about it. And they've been trying to drug us, medicate us, all kinds of stuff. But it's not working because we multiply like nobody else. They cannot kill us. Even when we were in captivity to the Egyptians, we were multiplying like crazy to the point where the, the pharaohs became scared. They're like, wait a minute now. These Israelites are multiplying and, and, and after a while, they're going to be more than us and put us in captivity. So they had to put a stop to that. So, I mean, do your history. Time after time, the beast has gone to war with the Most High's people constantly. And that's what we're seeing right now. Now, what is Trump really trying to prove by trying to declare Judaism as a nationality for these Khazars? Well, for one, they've been trying to fulfill prophecy on their own within their own self. They've been trying to make up their own prophecy so when they first came back to, when they came to Jerusalem, as they claimed in the, um, in the 1930s, you know, they claimed that that was the rite of passage, a return, you know, claiming that they were the, they were the Israelites who returned back to their land. That's a lie, Zion. The Bible says that when we return to our land, there will be war no more. And the heathens will be under our feet. And Hamashiach and 144,000, 24 elders 12 disciples are going to all be with us, Zion. We're going to have supreme order. That has not happened yet. These people are imposters, and these other nations know it, like Iran. China knows it. Everybody knows it, Zion. The Palestinian, the Palestinian knows it. Even Hitler knew that these people were not no Israelites. You know? And so that's the whole point, what they're trying to do. They're, they're trying to make this last move to try to fit themselves in the prophecy. But it's getting ready. I'm telling you, Zion, it's getting ready to fall apart like a... It's, it's getting ready to come down like dynamites in a building, getting ready to blow up. This whole thing is getting ready to just crumble. And I'm excited, Zion, just, just seeing this. So don't let this scare you. Don't let them labeling these suspects as they supposedly said that they were black calling them a follower of the the black hebrew israelite don't let that scare you zion because that's that's nothing that's what they do they they fabricate stuff they make up stuff and they're going to continue to do it and till this thing ends they're going to continue so you know don't don't be going to getting scared because I've, I've, I've looked at a few hebrews who did this take on this and you know Y'all got to be dummies to believe that they that they were actually followers of some black Hebrew Israel uh, a black Hebrew Israelite group. That's what that was fabricated. They made that up. They want you to believe that because they want you they they want people to go and start making all these videos. Oh my God, I don't want to be associated with this. I, this ain't us. This this is no Zion. They made that stuff up. You know, one big fib, and you got Hebrews making videos believing that stuff you know and I'm like what are y'all talking about but this this whole thing is was planned from the beginning Trump's presidency was planned from the beginning and more than likely he's going to get reelected because this, this is what this whole thing is about too it's a publicity stunt 
And after this impeachment process is over, Trump's going to look like a hero. He's going to look like a hero to his followers. And he's going to get reelected. You know, what happens after that? Not sure. It's only in the most high's hand. But I'm telling you, Zion, all you got to do is just look at the big picture, read between the lines, and you're going to see the evidence. Why do you think Trump is so eager to start this Space Force program? Because they looked out there and they saw something so scary that they never expected. And they panicked. And they know the Most High is out there. They know this Zion. And they, you know, and I truly believe, you know, this is just me speaking. I truly believe that they had a divine intervention. I, I believe the Most High sent one of his angels, a powerful angel, to these head leaders and told them, you better not touch my people. Now think about it, Zion. They could have taken our channels down at any moment. You know, my channel could have been taken down. But you know, the Most High has the final say. And I don't care what nobody says, Zion. If the Most High says, do not touch my chosen, ain't nothing the heathens can do. Nothing. So I just want you to know that, Zion. And that's why you see the things that you're seeing because they can't kill us. They cannot kill us. Yeah, a lot of our people are going to die because of wickedness. And then a lot of the righteous are going to die because they stand up for the Most High. And we're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake. I mean, that's what's going to happen. But Zion, we need to stand firm. We don't need to be shaken by any of this. Not whatsoever. You know, this ain't a time to be jumping off the ship, getting scared because... The media labeled them as a black Hebrew Israelite. So what? You know, be proud of who you are. We're Israelites. We are descendants of Hebrews. And we just happen to be black. You know, we didn't choose that. The Most High chose that. So we're Israelites. So we know we know that the term black Hebrew Israelite is something that the heathens made up. Come on, Zion. We, we know that. But we know we also know what they're trying to do. And that's, they're, they're, they are trying to fabricate this stuff so they can get us out the way, divide and conquer. But I got news on, it's over for them, it's a wrap. Because the more, the more our people get back to these laws, commandments and statutes, the more we're gonna see destruction on this earth. I'm telling you Zion, why do you think I do my Shabbat post every Shabbat? And by the grace of the Most High, I don't plan to miss a Shabbat unless they shut my channel down, that's, that's it. But, you know, and always get somebody new on there every now and then who's never heard of the Shabbat. And that's an opportunity for them to learn. So, Zion, these are some exciting times we're, 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 uh, we're living in. So the connection between this New Jersey shooting, I hope you see it clearer now. And the signing of the de declaration is no coincidence. No coincidence. They just had to put the blame on something. They had to use us. Why us? Because we're waking up. We are waking up and they cannot stop this Zion. I'm telling you, that's why I'm so excited. That's why I'm like this, I'm, I'm ecstatic right now because they thought this was gonna be some fly by night little movement, you know, like, you know, like the Nation of Islam or the you know, Black Panther movement. No, this is nothing, this is way beyond anything that any of us ever imagined Zion. And so many of our people are waking up all over the world. It's, it's unbelievable. And, you know, the heathens are shaking their heads like, damn, this, this can't be. And they're losing their grip. They're losing They're losing their grip. These nations are falling little by little, Zion. They're falling little by little. And I'm telling you, it's a sight to see prophecy being fulfilled right before our very eyes. So... Like I said, Zion, just get ready. We're, we're going to see more stuff like this. And I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep you posted. I'm going to keep watching out for stuff like this. But normally I don't share stuff like this, but this is huge. This was huge. The connection between this New Jersey shooting and them claiming um, what they've claimed and this whole signing of the declaration came at the same time. I just thought that was so crazy, so interesting, because we can see right through the lines. You know, these people are not smart as they think they are. They're not. So, Zion, I pray that you got it. Now, please comment. Leave some links. If you got something that maybe I didn't discuss or see, 
put some uh, put some links in those comment sections. You know, blow up this. Hey, let's let's blow up this comment section because this is something that we can discuss amongst ourselves. And you may have something that I don't have. You know, but you know, I pretty much gathered up a lot of stuff, a lot a lot of articles on this, and I did a lot of investigating. And so this is the conclusion I came to that this story that they made up about these suspect is fabricated point blank to put to make these Khazars look like the ultimate victims because we're waking up and there's no way that they can um, they can stop this because they have to make they have to try to make us look like fools but it's all getting ready to backfire because we know what Revelation 2 2 9 and 3 9 already says it's clear these people are not the bloodline of the descendants of Hebrews, not even close. These people and uh, these Khazars claiming to be Jews, call themselves Jewish. Zion, the gig is up. It's a wrap. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Because we're going to see greater things than these. This thing is about to blow. And all we got to do is just stand back and let the Most High do his work. Stay out of his way. But don't don't get don't get scared. Don't get shaken because of a little wind, Zion. This is only a little wind. This is nothing. You gonna let something like this scare you? Shake your faith? You know, Zion. This is we stronger than this. So let them bring it. Let them bring the. Let them bring whatever they want to bring. Because we are not shaken. The true awakened Israelites, we are not shaken by this whatsoever. Yep, I'm going to continue to wear my shamogs. Hell, I might even wear two of them now, wherever I go. So, you know, this, this doesn't phase me, you know, because I know the Most High has us. And he's getting ready to, well, he is already fighting for us. But little by little, he's taking out these nations, little by little. So I pray that you really got it, Zion. Again, just comment, share, links, post, whatever you got. Like to see it. I'll, and then also, I'd like to see your perspective on this as well, too. I'd I like to see your take on this thing. Because I know some of you probably have similar takes on this as well, too. So, so just go ahead and share your thoughts. And with that being said, Zion, uh, Yah's willing. I look forward to seeing you again. And I'll say Shabbat Shalom and stay strong.